Guys, you know when you realise that they sent the last black girl home on Love Island, yeah? In Black History Month. Bro, that hits different still, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that hits different, I'm not going to lie. That's touched me on the left side of the chest. Because I was like, yo, I felt some type of way about that. I'm not going to lie. But I'm glad that Kaz is gone because... Bro, she was just like flipping green screen and them things there, background music, backup dancer. Like, she served no purpose in there other than being a shrink for the yard, a therapist, a counselor for these knob jockeys, these wet wipes and stuff. Do you know what I mean? And she's more than that, but she wasn't sent the love interest or wasn't portrayed the way, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not fair, man. I'm glad she's gone because it was a painful watch. Now they got rid of the blackhead, like they're exfoliating and them things there. Do you know what I'm saying? Kaz has gone home. Did you see Toby? Oh, bro, Tobes, man, like Tobes, Toblerone. He was all in tears because his brethren has gone in it. They were like Batty and Bench. I know his head is the shape of a kitchen cabinet and them things there, but he's a cool guy. Them two had a good bond, a bond stronger than stronger than James and them things there. Do you know what I'm saying? So he, he, he was a bit emotional when she was going, as you'd think. And but I'm just glad she's gone, man, because it was dread watching her like that. But anyway, tonight's show was dry, bro. It was drier than a lizard's neck back. It was dead, bro. I feel like this show's peaked already. Now we're just going down here like Jack and Jill and them things there. Do you know what I mean? Like a snowboarder. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Like, how can you go from flipping PDA Awards the other day, banging episode, to this deadness? Dead. Anyway, let's get into it. It's your boyfriend, Stout. You know how we do gang business? If you're new here, please hit that sub button for me. Comment, share, like. So tonight's episode started with these three new bombshells. If you want to call them that, they look like flipping shrapnels. But yeah, you got this Joe brother. Bro, this guy looks like my man from flipping Iron Fist from the Marvel's Netflix series and them things there. He looks like the B-Tech Iron Fist. My man looks like Lead Fingers and them things there. That's what he looks like. He looks like he sells beads on a beach in Hawaii or something. He just looks like a waste man. <laughs> now I'm joking. You know how I am with everyone that comes in. But he looks cool. But apparently that's someone else that Arabella's got history with. She's intertwined and done a couple of things with. See that Arabella, yeah? Bro, that girl been around, you know? She's a little street sweeper, I'm telling you. This girl been around like them Morris bikes. This girl, she gets around. Around the world in 80 days. <laughs> this heifer. Yo, she's taking her fish on tour like Nemo. I don't know who she ain't got history with in this Love Island circle and them things there. Areola, antibiotics, aquafina, arachnophobia. This girl... She gets around. Then you got the two twins, yeah? Twin booty is a thing of cutie. Twin booty is a thing of beauty. <laughs> Write that down, somebody. <laughs> I will never forget that um, flipping sister sister episode with um, Flex on it. Oh my God. You walk out that door, don't come back no more. <laughs> I swear. You walk out that door, don't come back no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Jess and Eve, bro, they literally, when I see them, they look like, you know, the white girls, the film, the white girls with Marlon Wayans and the brothers and stuff playing the white girls. Bro, they just look unreal. They look stiff. Their teeth is just mad white, bro. It looks like there's a KKK march in there. Do you know what I'm saying? Talking about the KKK march, yeah? Bro, the yard is just bare white people in there, bare blonde, just... Bro, the way the yard's looking right now, that's Hitler's dream. <laughs> that's an Aryan's dream. Do you know what I'm saying? Fam, that yard looks whiter than a flipping polar bear's family picture, I swear down. <laughs> Just bro, bear. Yeah, bro. You're just looking very, very light in that yard. You know them ones there. Anyway, shortly after the game started, you know they love these games where they gotta kiss each other all up in each other's mouth, like fillings and dentures and stuff. Those all up in each other's mouth. I think Toby got a kiss from one of the twins, and he was lusting over that. Casey got to kiss both of the twins. I know he must have had a recce, this little flipping Zoolander looking you. The new brother Joe snogged Molly in the game, yeah. And when he snogged her, Georgia, bro, I swear this girl looks like a fruit fly. I'm not gonna lie, she looks like a mosquito. She's just some dusty heifer. Imagine, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is she got with Molly here, she's never gonna let it go. Swear down, she hates this girl. As soon as Joe kissed Molly, cause Joe already said when he first came in that him and Molly had a little, they might have shared a little kiss in the past and stuff, yeah? As soon as they kissed, yeah, this waste cadet, Georgia, had to say, oh, was that the first time? Fam, why is she bringing it up? The girl tried to bring it up like projectile. She's an idiot, bro. She blatantly tried to throw money under the bus and them things there. So what if they share their kiss? This girl is the same girl who's got flipping history with more than half of the villa, you know? Always talking about history, history. The girl got more history than the Vatican and them things there. Do you know what I'm saying? More history than Winston Churchill and them man there. Proper, I can't stand this girl. I don't know why she wasn't voted out tonight. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad Kaz is gone, yeah? But 
This wretched, bro, I swear down, bro. I can't stand her, I swear down. This flipping mongoose, I can't stand the girl. I swear down, if I was Molly, I would have decked her by now. I would have decked her like garden furniture. Because I'm not having it. This she's so fast with her mouth and she tries to play the victim like, oh, like me. Then Josh here, yeah. Josh is a waste man. He's not really my guy, the guy looks like a raccoon. He looks like a Namibian desert ferret, you know what I'm saying? The guy is a waste man, but yo, he told the truth tonight. When the, the truth is the truth, you know them ones there? Hands down at like 6.30. He told Toby and Georgia that, yo, if you're not there, make it work on the outside. What's this stupidness? It didn't work on the outside. Like, yo, he told the truth. <laughs> he shut her down. Gagged her like an NDA in them things there. The girl couldn't say nothing. All she could do was just ah, chat shit. You know she's always chatting rubbish, bro. Mouth smell like doo-doo and them things there. The girl is dumb, bro. Do you know why she was hurt? She was hurt because that was the truth. He told the truth. The truth hurts. You know them ones there. If the shoe fits, wear it. It cut her deep. The girl is dumb. Imagine she's hurt by Josh's comment, yeah? And she spent the whole season hating on Molly saying, bro! <laughs> She's thicker than bread crust. I can't lie, the gal is dumb, bro. <laughs> and Toby's there trying to fight all her battles with his square head, head looking like a chessboard and them things there. Toby just, both of them just a blind lead and a blind. They're both like dumb and dumber, like just stupid people just following each other and them things there. Do you know what I mean? You can even tell that relationship is not even gonna last. That's some Jenga relationship. It's so, it's not on steady legs and them things there. Papa Wobbly, like it's, 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 it's a dead relationship. Toby didn't even want her. They got here by default. <laughs> Waste man. I wanted Kaz to speak the truth to Toby today because I'm not going to lie. She's been supporting him like a neck brace and them things there. She been, she's had his back and stuff, yeah? But bro, sometimes as a brethren, being part, sometimes being a brethren is telling your brethren the truth. If you're not going to tell them the truth and just let them do stupid this, yeah? Because I know I know Kaz is a smart girl, but do you know what? She's gone now, innit? Toby's just going to just... You know what I'm saying? He's gonna be Toby. Sophie, yeah? Bro, see this gal, yeah? Did you realise they had to put subtitles when she was talking? This <laughs> if you didn't notice, go watch it back. They put subtitles when this gal talk. When she's talking, it's like, uh, you know, I like you, like, like, I just don't like, like, the way, the thing you did to me, like. And I'm, I am way clearer than the gal is. Bro, when the gal is talking, yeah? They need to put, you know, late night when you're watching TV and there's the, the people doing sign language in the corner? Fam, I would have understood them more than I can understand this girl. This girl talks like she's drowning. She's taking her last breaths and them things there. She talks, I don't know. She talks like she's hiding a little hamster in her cheeks or something. She just talks like a madman. You know them ones there? But her and Josh, yeah? Again, that's not, bro, there's no solid relationship in there at all. Nothing, it's all dead. Dead wood and them things there. Imagine she did the same thing to Josh that Josh did to her yesterday with Joanna on the terrace, telling this new brother that she's still open and them things there, like a 24 seven, like an off license. Bro. <laughs> Obviously she closed off with him later. I don't even think people know what being closed off means. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's always talking about being closed off, closed off like a sandwich bag. But nobody's just like, they say they're closed off and as soon as the new bombshell comes in, it's like, oh. Stupid boys, bruv. Stupid, all of them. Dumb, dumb, young, dumb, full of cum. Areola, alopecia, this Arabiata girl, yeah? This Arabati girl, I'm not gonna lie. This agoraphobia girl. When she was talking to that, the new brother, what's his name, Sam? The new brother just come in with the, with the mad hair and them things there. Bro, when she was talking to him, yeah? I thought she just, when she talks to man, she just reeks, she looks like she's trying to play hide and seek with the willy. She just reeks her desperation. Like, just cringe, like, she just... She just oozes of, ah, oh, she's a beg it. She proper beg it and them things there. I'm surprised the guy, the, my man, and picked her in the recoupling. I was so shocked. Even she was shocked. But when she was talking to him in the show, it just, she just sounds so desperate and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, allow it, man. Big woman. Then she said she came here to look for a relationship. She came here to look for Willie. Anton and Georgia, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you know, you just have to get used to them now. There's nothing you can do. Even if you don't like them, you just have to get used to it. Anton's come up with a new term for their relationship. Apparently, they're not closed off anymore. They're unavailable. Man thinks he's Davido blood. I'm unavailable. <laughs> What's that kind of man there? Yo, apparently, they're not available. But yeah, man. Again, this Georgia H girl, I don't know. She just rubs me up the wrong way, bro. I'm not going to lie. She looks like flipping Sid from Ice Age and them things there. With her breath just kicking, bro. Breath's humming like a choir. Bro, her breath's kicking like a stallion. <laughs> Anton don't even know that he's in a love triangle with her and Casey's granddad. Do you know them ones there? And that's going to be peak when he... <laughs> oh my God. 
But yeah, man, talking about Casey, yeah, I realised this episode, this guy, he's a scumbag. Bro, he looks like a flipping Belgian donut. This waste man, yeah, apparently his preferences in gal is blonde and things there. So why did you pick Kaz? Why did you pick bro? <laughs> he was just using her. He was just using her. But, ah. Oh. Then the text come in for recoupling and all that stuff. And obviously, it was always going to be the new people picking first. You know what I'm saying? The blonde brother and the twins and them things there. And the blonde brother obviously picked um, Arabati in it, which I was so shocked about she was. The two twins, one of them picked um, Callum. The other picked um, uh, Casey. And the rest of it just went as normal. It was such a dead episode. And they extended it 15 minutes as well. It was an extra 15 minutes long. I'm thinking, all right, cool. Maybe something's going to happen here, Smithers. No, nothing. <laughs> Trash! Garbage! Basuda! Bro! Sometimes I think if I wasn't doing the review, I don't even think I'd be watching this show, especially now. I, it's just... I, 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 I don't know where they're going from here. I have no idea. But guys, let me know what you think about tonight. Again, it's the Georgia show. There's other sub-characters and stuff, but it's mainly about Georgia and Molly. And Do you know what? I really thought the new brother was going to pick Molly, but he didn't, to my surprise. So... Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about tonight's show. It's your boyfriend, Stones, you know how we do?